Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to be taking a look at the trade copy that I use to manage prop firm accounts and personal capital. So this is going to be really interesting because I touched on this earlier in the year and I covered the basic features of this platform, but it's been upgraded tenfold since then. So I really want to touch on this, show you the features that are going to help you to actually scale your trading more effectively. And the key thing is more safely. So let's talk about that. So the platform is called Traders Connect. If you've already watched the video from earlier in the year, you'll know what I'm talking about and you may already use this yourself. If you don't, highly recommend taking a look. If you haven't watched the video that I created earlier in the year, I'm going to put a card up here so that you can already check that out. So let's touch on this. So this is the dashboard itself. As you can see, first impressions are very minimalistic, very clean, probably going to be very simple to use, which they are. So let's touch on this. So we've got the first thing that I want to touch on is it's called the dedicated environment, right? So we go over to integrations and you can see here we've got dedicated environment. So this basically means you, you've got your own dedicated trading environment within the Traders Connect infrastructure. You will not share any resources with another user, such as an IP address. So for example, a key thing is a lot of prop firms do not want you sharing your IP address. So when it comes to things like this, having your own IP address, your own dedicated hardware, your own dedicated IP address within the cloud of Traders Connect is gonna massively aid you in any headaches that can potentially happen. Because otherwise, if you don't have this on any other uh, cloud-based trade copier, you know you may have to start emailing them. It just creates a lot of headaches within your overall trading. So this helps you to systemize it and actually keep it secure, which is key. So as you can see here, we've got the environment. I've called it Michael's workspace. You've got your dedicated IP address as well. Everything set up for you to succeed. So that's the one of the key add-ons that I wanted to touch on. We've also got the mapping symbol, which I really wanted to show you as well, because that's been upgraded massively. So let's talk about that. So we've got the accounts. So we've got two accounts here. We've got IC Markets and Blueberry. If we go over to Trade Copier, if we just set up a Trade Copier right now, and for those of you who don't, who are not sure how a Trade Copier works, let's think about the fact that let's say you have five different trading accounts, right? Now, if you want to take the same trade on all five accounts, imagine how much hassle it's going to be going from one account to the next to the next trying to put on limit orders, market executions, your timing's gonna be off, you're probably gonna miss trades, money, etc. It's a headache, right? What a trade copy does is you will have a master account, so that's the main account, and if you place, let's say, a limit order on that, it's gonna then copy into the slave accounts that are connected to that master, therefore saving you headaches, saving you time, money, everything. So that's the way it works. If we now set up the trade copier, so I wanna copy this, from Blueberry Markets and want to copy this to IC Markets. Risk type, we've got a few different ones here. So we've got fixed lot, lot multiplier, balance multiplier, fixed balance multiplier. I always use balance multiplier. So what this basically means is that it's a one-to-one -one risk, right? So if I put 100% in here, that means that if I'm risking 1% on my master account, it's going to be 1% on the slave accounts as well. If I then put 200% in here, if I risk 1% on my master account, it's gonna be 2% per trade on the slave accounts and so on. So very simple. Personally for me, if I take a trade on my personal capital, it just gets copied into the funded accounts anyway. So I will copy stop loss, take profit, pending orders. If you wanna swap and change things, you can as well. You've got advanced settings down here as well, etc. right? And then you've got trade filters as well. So you can also filter by a magic number, filter by comment, filter by lot size. This filtering process allows you to identify trades quickly and effectively. So we'll confirm that. Right, so copy it is set up now. The last thing we need to do is we need to go to symbol mapping. So already as we come onto this, 55 symbols have already been automatically mapped, which is key, so you don't have to manually do this. It's already been done for you. 
on a lot of trade copiers, you have to manually do it. And once again, it's just not systemized. This is already done for you. So on a lot of brokers, what you tend to get is you will get the symbol. So Aussie dollar CAD in this situation, and you've got that dot I at the end. So that dot I is not the same as obviously Aussie dollar CAD. So you just need to map it so that the trade copier recognizes it's the same pair. So that if you take a trade on the master, it's then gonna copy onto the slave, which is obviously what we want, that's key. So 55, all the FX pairs have been done. If you did have something outside of the FX range that you want to map as well, all we'd simply do is go over to unmapped symbols. We'd click on this, we'd go to, let's say, the VIX. So we've got the VIX index. We'd select it from here. So we'll type in VIX again, and it comes up here, right? So we click on that, and then we just need to add the mapping to here. And you can see it's automatically been mapped for us. So we're now got 56 symbols mapped and so on. So really great feature. And a lot of this is just systemizing your trading to make it a lot easier and optimized for you to trade in. The next thing I want to take a look at is the equity protection. So just to give you a bit of a history check on Traders Connect, let me show you this. So there's a feature request button in the bottom left hand corner. I'll quickly show you this. So if we click on this, you can see all the integrations that people want to actually have in Traders Connect. Now, six months ago, one of the key things that people wanted to add was equity protection, including myself. So if we just go to the document, this has already been added now, which is unreal so what we have is we have equity protection which allows you to protect your account equity in the event of either drawdown or profit so our EEP allows you to protect your both losses and profit perfect for those with profit targets so you've got a couple different things here so let's say your equity protection is hit the copier will be disabled automatically until you re-enable it so that is key so you can close open copy trades, uh, open open trades itself, and you've got drawdown protection. So let's say, for example, you had a drawdown limit on a funded challenge of 5% for the day, and you wanted to stop yours at 4,000 pounds, so 4% 4, 4 just in case of, obviously you want a bit of a buffer in there. You don't, you shouldn't be breaching the daily drawdown limit anyway but let's say you give yourself a bit of a buffer you say right four percent if it goes above that all my trades are closed you can do that so you can say right if my account goes into total four percent drawdown the equity protection which you set up will then kick in and actions the settings that you have chosen so you can do it based on four percent drawdown you can also do that based on value as well so you can do 4k in dollars or you could do absolute minimum of if your account equity hits a certain value, all orders and trades are closed, which is key. It's the same goes for profits, which is really key because I don't know about you guys, but for me, the amount of times you've been in a challenge and let's say your overall, you hit the profit, but it's very difficult to judge. Let's say, let's say you've got a 10% profit target and price just hovers just above that. You're obviously quickly on MT4 trying to close the trade obviously in profit so that you get the pass. But quite often I've seen people fail to do that and it messes them up. This protects you from doing that. So what it allows you to do is from a profit point of view, if your account goes into 4% in profit, the equity protection will kick in and action the settings that you've chosen. Or let's say you can do it based on monetary value as well. So four grand or same here. If you had a profit target of 8%, if your account equity hits the value of 108k or equivalent currency, that will kick in, close the trades for you, and you're sorted, no headaches, no stress, optimized. That's what you want. So this is a massive bonus to the trade copier platform itself. So I love this. This is probably, apart from the dedicated environment, this is my favorite feature. From a scalability and safety point of view, it's huge. So that is that. What I'm gonna do now, is just to show you how quickly the trades actually execute on the platform, I wanna give you a quick run through in terms of what that looks like on MT4 or MT5. So let's have a look. Right, now we're on MT5 and I'm gonna show you how quickly this actually executes so that you understand, right, if I wanna get in a trade, this can actually be executed quickly and timing as a trader is essential. 
So on the platform, overall today I'm looking at a buy on GJ, but we'll sell short term because I'm waiting for a pullback. So let's just do that, right? So let's do new order. And then let's do market execution. And I'll show you as well. You can wait for this to happen. You ready? Buy. All right. Buy. Boom. All on very quickly, very systemized. Let's do a couple of bigger orders as well, just to show you. So let's do five lots, All right? Same thing. Boom. Quick and systemized, that's what you want. So overall, that is how quick it is. Very simplistic, very simple to set up, yet highly effective with scalability and also safety, which is what we want as traders. So overall, that's the platform itself. As you can see, it's been a massive upgrade since the last video and last time's improvements. Like I said before, they're constantly applying new things and they're always open to feedback. So if you do have a suggestion, I mean, they have a few on here, so, but you can make a suggestion to improve things. Not that anything needs improvement anyway, but for me, I mean, if we're just taking a quick look on this, I mean, two-factor auth authentication would be perfect as well. Mobile app would be absolutely phenomenal. These things are in the works. These things are always improving. That's the great thing about Traders Connect. So highly recommend checking it out. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description as well. Check it out, give it a go for yourself and let me know how it works for you. But overall, hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll speak to you on the next one. Have a safe week in the markets. See you soon.